Here comes a wonderful narrowboat. You'd be forgiven for thinking she's called A+. Plus. That would probably describe her quite accurately, but that's not right. It's A+. Plus. It's French for see you. A+. Plus. See you. <laughs> I think it works. Anyway, she's a wonderful boat. She's a semi-traditional stern narrowboat built in 2019. So she's very young by J.D. Narrowboats. 62 feet long. She was originally a sail away and the owner, the original owner, fitted her out. She was blacked in nut 2019, two pack epoxy, so that'll be good for some time to go. She's just been serviced April 2021. The paintwork's in nice condition. The gas bottles, three of them actually, 13 kilos in the forward locker. Nice crack, um, well deck, three feet long. The cratch cover over that was brand new this year. 610 watts of solar panels there on the roof. So it's an enormous bank of solar. Very neatly arranged ropes, that often says how boats are looked after. There's a ladder plank there. Quick look inside. All the windows are double glazed, by the way. And this pram hood gives you so much space inside over the cockpit here. There's a bike rack on the back. And the television arrow quite cleverly attaches to the tiller bar. That's that pole sticking up. The actual arrow itself is in the on the rear deck here. So when we go, there's the view from the helmsman's position, and this cockpit is four feet long. The engine's in here, absolutely squeaky clean in here. It's a Beta 50 with a hospital silencer. The central heating boiler, that's an Ebbespacker, is up there. You'll note no batteries there in a cupboard in the boat. The isolation switches and there's the hospital silencer. The batteries, by the way, there's three lithium batteries on board for the domestics and two starter batteries, 12 volts, for the engine. Storage in the bench seats either side of this back deck. They lock those lockers. That wooden thing is a arrangement to put a bench seat across the, the back deck here. Or a perch to stand on if you're vertically disadvantaged like me. In we go. Into the galley, it's reverse layout, 8 feet 6 inches long. Stainless steel sink, oak worktops, the Thetford four burner gas hob. Let's start over here. Hanging cupboard here over the hot water tank, so it's a bit of an airing cupboard. There's a microwave there and an eye level oven and grill. Well, eye level if you're my height. There we are. Cupboard underneath. Bank of four. Good sized drawers here. Mentioned the hob. The fridge is a 12 volt inlander. And Bumble's quite curious as to where the food is. And on the other side of the galley, storage really. Huge double cupboard here. Little shelf on the wall above it, you probably saw. That's a Hoover, it's a nine kilo Hoover washing machine. Large cupboard under here. And the electrics are all in these two cupboards. There's the inverter, it's a three kVA Victron inverter charger. There's a galvanic isolator, and the batteries are under there, along with various other bits of electrical instruments. She's very well equipped, this boat, highly spec'd. And forward of the galley, on the starboard side, there's a breakfast bar. Side hatch there with a perspex insert, a couple of stools. And opposite that, a storage chest. All the windows are double glazed, I think I mentioned that. And this is ingenious. These windows actually all pull out very easily, but current owner have got this sucker thing to just make lifting them out super easy. The saloon is huge. It's 16 feet long. There's a massive sofa there. Not a sofa bed. Head height on the boat, six feet four. All the light is, lights are LED. That's a 40 inch television on a wall mounted bracket so it comes out and swings around. The stove you just saw is a more so squirrel solid fuel stove. And there's a the view down. You can get a feeling of how light and spacious she feels. That's a internet router, a who are we, or however you pronounce it. And there's the dinette area. It's a very useful storage area here. Net six feet two in oh it's seven feet two inches long, including that storage. This makes into a double bed, a storage under both couches. The bathroom's lovely, six feet long. There's a good sized shower cubicle here, light in it, and there's an extractor fan in the roof of the 
bathroom. Ceramic sink, there's a radiator in there, and the loo is a Thetford cassette. There's three cassettes on board. It's electric flush and it's ceramic, actually. Sliding door, we just saw that. Then the bedroom is in the forward cabin. It currently has two singles in it, six feet three inches long, but they could so easily be made into a gigantic double bed. Large wardrobe at the foot of the bed on the port side. And cupboards either side of the boat at the head end. This one's shelves, and the one opposite is half shelves, half wardrobe. The engine's only got 418 hours on it, I should mention that. And it was serviced about 20 hours ago. The water tank is under the well deck, that's polypropylene, 450 litres, there's a tank gauge. Central heating on the boat is Eberspacker. There's five radiators with a digital timer. And hot water is heated by the engine in the Eberspacker, or there is an immersion heater on board. I've mentioned the lithium batteries. And there are 22 230 volt sockets on this boat, and they all have USB points on. And the massive solar bank is controlled by Victron Connect Smart Control. You can watch everything that's happening. On, well, on your phone, it's very clever. It comes with all the necessary navigation equipment. And this pram hood at the back, actually, I ought to mention, has blackout panels that just attach so you can completely block out the outside world. So there we go. Fabulous boat. Aplu, see you. Further photographs from the fully downloadable colour brochure and the price go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.